Item number SCP-500. Index Panacea. Object class Safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-500 must be stored in a cool and dry place away from bright light. SCP-500 is only allowed to be accessed by personnel with level 4 security clearance to prevent misapplication. Description SCP-500 is a small plastic can which, at the time of writing, contains 4747 red pills. One pill, when taken orally, effectively cures the subject of all diseases within two hours, exact time depending on the severity and amount of the subject's conditions. Despite extensive trials, all attempts at synthesizing more of what is thought to be the active ingredient of the pills have been unsuccessful. Note from Dr. Klein. SCP personnel below level 3 are now banned from handling SCP-500. This is not to be used to cure a hangover. Get AIDS, and then ask permission. Request 500-1774-K. Dr. 500-0022F has requested 1-1 SCP-500 pill for testing with SCP-038. Request has been approved. Request 500-1862-B. Dr. Gears has requested 1-1 SCP-500 pill for testing in SCP-914. Request has been approved. Request 500-2354-F. Dr. Has requested 1-1 SCP-500 pill for testing with SCP-253. Request denied. Request 500-5667-E. Dr. Gibbons has requested 2-2 pills of SCP-500 for his personal medkit. Request denied. Addendum 500-1. 2-2 pills have been authorized for use with SCP-008. As a result of conducting a series of tests on Class D subjects infected with SCP-008, it appears that even in the most advanced stages of the disease, one whole pill will accomplish full recovery. Number of pills is 5757 at the time of writing. Dr. 500-0021-D Addendum 500-2 one, one pill has been authorized for use with SCP-409. SCP-500 was tested on subject 409-D5, who was exposed to the effects of SCP-409. Complete recovery accomplished. See Addendum 409-1. Number of pills is 5656 at the time of writing. Dr. 500-0021-D Addendum 500-4 Request 500-1774-K approved. Five, five pills have been used in experimentation with SCP-038. It has been determined that SCP-038 is capable of duplicating SCP-500. However, the success of the duplicated pills is limited. The duplicated pills are only effective in curing the subject 30% of the time, with chance of successful healing dropping as time since cloned increases. In 60% of the cases where the infection is permanent, symptoms of infection remain, though further infestation is neutralized. Repeated dosing with SCP-038 cloned pills is recommended for all personnel suffering from incurable conditions, as supply of SCP-500 remains extremely limited. All five, five used samples of SCP-500 were returned. Number of pills is 5656 five, at the time of writing. Addendum 500-5 During experiments with SCP-038, one, one pill was stolen by personnel D to reportedly cure a hangover. Stricter controls for samples of SCP-500 given to other projects is suggested. Personnel D has been terminated. Number of pills is 5555 at the time of writing. Addendum 500-6 one, one pill has been used with SCP-231-4. Number of pills is 5454 at the time of writing. Addendum 500-7 one, one pill has been used for experiment 447-A. Number of pills is 5353 five, at the time of writing. Addendum 500-8. One, one pill has been used with SCP-208. Number of pills is 5252 five, at the time of writing. Addendum 500-9. Request 500-1862-B approved. One, one pill of SCP-500 is placed within SCP-914 with the setting at Fine. Resulting object classified as SCP-427. 
Number of pills is 5151 at the time of writing. Addendum 500-10 Five five pills have been taken for the Olympia project, although only two two were used. The remaining three three will be returned shortly. Upon return, number of pills will be forty nine four nine. Addendum five hundred eleven. Two two pills have been used for experiment two one seven dash dash. Number of pills is forty seven four seven at the time of writing. Addendum five hundred twelve. Request to have SCP-500 investigated for mental compulsion leading to obsessive fixation denied for triviality.